Hello and hail! We want to say all hail to the adventurers and all hail the legends. Welcome to another art stream, an Elfstar art stream. Welcome everyone. As you, <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. We um today today. Uh, I figured I would uh, jump into drawing some uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. Uh, we're going to do two drawings today. One of those drawings is going to be given away for free to a lucky viewer. Uh, could be you, could be anyone. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out when we get there. Uh, how we determine that is we pull up a wheel. Uh, the wheel here basically is a list of names. Uh, if you're in the channel at the time of what I call for it, you can enter your name into this wheel and win a drawing completely for, for free. I ship anywhere in the world. Uh, it doesn't matter where. It could be Australia. It could be the North Pole. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you're willing to give me an address, uh, it doesn't have to be a home address. It could be a neighbor. It could be some, something you have access to. An office. I don't care. I will send you the artwork for free. Um, yeah, basically, that's... That's the, the goal of the stream. My challenge today is an art challenge. I'm going to draw two drawings. We're going to give one away. Put on some like lo-fi kind of Zelda remixes for you guys. Elsa, someone just subscribed to your channel. Whoa. How are you going to react? How? Danny. How? Danny celebrating that one month sub streak. Thank you so much, Danny. So good to, good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I... Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start drawing. I'm gonna be drawing Link. 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 I need reference. Okay. I got my water over here. Um. I got a racer. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, before I do that, let's protect my mat. We're gonna throw this down, right here, like that, because I don't want to mess up my you know my mat. <laughs> we gotta protect it, right? Not that I'm gonna get too crazy today, but. Figured let's um let's get this roll in here. Alright. And we'll get the stream going. Alright, I hope you guys are well. Oh, that snap and crackle. Hopefully not a pop. <laughs> okay. Let's where do we start here? I think what I want to start with is. I am using my pencil today, so hopefully it won't reflect too much. Um, typically, what what I like to do is I like to start start with the eyes. Let's see. Now, Link is quite. Um, it's more like a an anime like flavor, right? So we're gonna kind of try to emphasize what um, the Nintendo style, so to speak. Um, I mean, I might put my own little flair on it, but we want it recognizable as Link, um, and so he's got this kind of. Let's see. A lot of times, a lot of times with um, with Japanese animation is that there's a very there's a standard for uh, drawing eyes a certain way, right? Um, let's see. Uh, anybody out there, if you guys can give me give me um, an idea, like if you want the volume of the music to go up or down, or if it's just right. Um, I never know. I think I, I, my voice should be obviously louder, right? Whoa! Bro! We just got a host of 11 viewers on the Kiki Kick. Thank you, dude. Poach Fad, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. It's just right. Ooh, that's the way I like it. All right, just right. Woo! Everybody's hosting Elsa. Dude, and Warwick UK with a host and host as well. You guys are awesome. Thank, thank you so much. Um, I've always said it's the little things that really... <laughs> what the... Hey! And a, and a follow from Star Phoenix. Oh, hi! Hello and welcome. 
Uh, we're drawing two drawings of Link, and then we're gonna be giving one away. J44 is here as well. Welcome to good to see ya. So I'm gonna do kind of a face of Link. I think. Um, and I then I'm gonna do it in his kind of a like starting outfit. J44, good to see ya. Welcome. Oh, are you, are you taking off? No worries. <laughs> Good morning. I always forget what time it is for everyone. That's the thing about streaming that I love is the fact that people can join from all different parts of the world. It's always it's always hard to find that magical time that everyone's. Hey, Scooby's here too. I saw you scoob at the very beginning. <laughs> okay. So he's got this moppy hair. Um, he's Now he's kind of like, I, Link is kind of like a little elf dude, right? Um, of course we like him. <laughs> got a little nose. Elsa, I hope you like ice cream. Come Jade! On. Thank you for the uncommon drop as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, for those who are new, uh, to the stream on kick if you're if you're uh for that gracious host uh what we do on the stream here is uh every wednesday i do two drawings i give one of those away to a lucky viewer um yeah and we do it every week uh that's just that that's the way we do it and uh i do a uh list of names at the end of the stream and we spin a wheel and we get down battle royale style until we get one final winner walks away with a piece of art. Uh, for those that are wondering too, also the next batch of art is going out after today. So if you have one in the past and you're still waiting for a piece of art, um, it is being sent out. Um, I tend to send them all in batches. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm drawing very well. Um, I always forget, like, like the pencil's really hard to pick up. So let me, um, let me grab be the best thing to grab here let's grab um am i comfortable enough to do it in pen just yet yeah, let me sketch a little bit more guys and then I'll, I'll jump into the pens and then you guys will be able to see a little bit more clearly and i'm just kind of sketching he's got like these um these cool like what, what would you call them not they're not bangs what are bangs for the ears Sideburns! Sideburns is what we're talking about. Whoa! MD with a diamond! Right at the beginning of the stream, too. Holy crap, thank you so much, MD. Okay, well, you guys know how I roll. Anything that's a diamond or higher, I'm gonna throw the half of that in the chest. You know that. Thank you so much, MD. Aw. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, there we go. And if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, what are you talking about a chest? Um, I am a verified partner on a, a smaller platform called DLive. And DLive has something where I can give back to my viewers. Um, so when someone makes a donation to the channel, I can take part of that donation. I can throw it right back in a chest and then I can open up that chest at the end of the stream. And that currency gets spread amongst everyone. Um, it's kind of a cool system. Uh, Flo, <laughs> Flo, good to see you. Yes, it is Link. It is, we are doing Link today. We're doing two drawings of Link and we're going to be gifting, uh, gifting one away. That's right. Link. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of... Now, this is going to be Link from the brand new game, Tears of the Kingdom, which I have not played yet. Um, has anybody here played the game yet? I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm going to kind of... I think I'm starting him in his starting outfit. I think it's what, what I'm doing here. Blow that out like that. He's got ridges here in his like, little costume. Um... 
and then he's got some design elements as well here, so I'll get back to that. But, um, just kind of lightly sketching everything out. Okay, cool. I got the basics of the composition right now. So we've got basically this triangle shape as composition. Uh, you know, mainly it's a portrait, right? That's basically what it is. <laughs> okay, so uh, my brother has been playing the game and uh, so is a cousin of yours. Ooh, nice. I think it's already sold like over 10 million uh, <laughs> copies, <laughs> which is like insane. Wow, okay. Um, how am I gonna approach it? I always, I always like, how am I gonna approach this today? Should I, should I bring out the Copics? Can I bring out the expensive stuff? <laughs> oh, I mean my tester page. You guys know my tester page, right? I've got a, a page here of, of where I test my pens. <laughs> it's, it's almost becoming its own abstract piece of art. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend it. If you're, if you're, if you're drawing yourself, it's always a good idea to test things out before you, before you apply it to paper. Um, okay, you know what, first thing, you know, I always like to second guess myself. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw the eyes. I think we need to get the eyes in play here. Oh, this is, this is not clean. Okay, there we go. I think once we get these eyes in place, then we'll use that as the focal point. Anybody new to the stream and stuff like that will be able to see the eyes, not just sketchy lines. <laughs> yeah, I've been joking that like, I'm gonna eventually give that the, <laughs> the tester page away and we'll start a new one. have the eye come around they're almost not circles right they're almost like um like uh, little ovals hmm. and it's kind of like a stylized um stylized what eyelash Let's get that in there. Hey guys, like eggs. Hey Pablo, good to see ya. Welcome, how are you doing? How is your hump day going so far? It is the middle of the week. How, by the way, how, I, does anybody out there know where the reference came for hump day? Wednesday being hump day? I. I I, I know, I know of it. I don't know how it originated. Does anybody out there know that? Like where it comes from? Is it some sort of meme that I like completely like don't remember? If I had to guess, I would guess it would be a meme. Okay, those are some big ass eyes. <laughs> some big bump, big eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of shadow here. No idea? Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I mean, I think where I heard it was on, off the internet, but I don't rem I don't know what, like where it originated from. Okay. Is like that. Hmm. Let's grab a later. Oh, it's not from the internet then. 
Just Googled it? Okay, cool. How <laughs> day comes from the Nordic tradition. Well, those are traditions I can get behind. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good hump day, right? <laughs> All right, noses are tricky. Does anybody out there have uh, trouble drawing noses? Especially from the front, right? Once you start uh, thinking of them as shapes, though, they tend to they tend to fall into place. All right, let me um. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that cartoon. My gosh, remember, remember the hosts of Mario and Luigi. Oh my gosh. Yes, I remember it well. <laughs> wow, this is one of my favorite songs, by the way, uh, from Legend of Zelda. I missed it live. I watched a um, a replay that uh, flows of him outside. Um, I don't know if it's the same one because I know he's done multiples, but I really enjoyed it. Do the Mario. That's right. Do the Mario. I like, I like the look of that. I like the look of that. That, that works. Okay. So I'm going to get a sense of light here. What's happening. Um, let's grab our thicker edge. There's a lot of play we can do here. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it brings me back. Holy cow. will actually get really, really dark there. That would work. Work well. Um, we're gonna have the, the light hitting the hair, I think. So it did start in the 50s, hey? Interesting. I mean, I guess... I mean, I like scheduling stuff too. I mean, it's if you have your your time planned out, your week planned out for the, <laughs> it works. Yeah, I did hear the news about Tina Turner today, guys. I did hear the news. She had quite the voice, quite the voice. Iconic songs, right? Just iconic songs. Oh, nice! You're seeing Stevie Nicks tomorrow night. Congrats to you, man. Woo! That's gonna be exciting. Uh, 
that. And then the cake will come up over here. We got the flow going. Okay, cool. lips together. Okay. How dark do I want to go with this? I almost kind of want to go darker, to be quite honest. Um, have a little bit more range this way? I don't know. This is always the tough part, because it's like, you gotta figure out... Um, nah, solo this time. Oh, okay, no worries. Danny? Aw. Thank you so much, Danny. Yeah, I'll try to tune later. Uh, we'll do the we'll do the giveaway at the end of the stream and all that kind of stuff. Thank you for dropping in and, and just hanging for a bit. And good luck with uh, the rest of your workday. Alright. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go darker. I need to pop this chin out. So that means this should be probably a lot darker. So let's, you know what? The best way to do it is to force my hand. And the, the way I do that is by going a little bit darker with, um, oh, this one's like almost dead. This pen's almost dead already. Thank God, dress pens. Okay, let me, um, I'm gonna go even further. I'm gonna go with an even darker, darker pen. almost black almost black it's not black but it's almost black um, and that will give me a nice contrast to pop things out so this is the hair my hair is going to be coming down that way and then we've got his costume. Some lines here. So. <laughs> okay. 
Cool, cool, cool. Um, what, what's next? Oh, uh, I need to go lighter. So one step. Blending it in a little bit. Aw, sweet. Okay. Um, guys, just so you know, uh, so I forgot to introduce this at the very beginning of the stream. Um, for those that don't know, I'm, uh, I've am i launched a new channel on YouTube. Um, I have uh, an incoming family member coming into the household very, very shortly um, who's named Backup. Uh, well, not backup. It's actually backup 2.0. Um, I'll show you a picture of him here. This is this is our new family member coming in, and I'm gonna. It doesn't make sense for me to keep putting videos and stuff like that up on the um, um, on the gaming and art channel. So I'm gonna actually start a new channel here, um, and it's it's at YouTube at Elf and Sar, and that's where all the puppy pictures and all the, the puppy videos. And IRL stuff that I'm going to be doing is going to be all going on that. Just so it just kind of um, just makes sense to do that. All right. I figured I'd, I'd give it a give a, a little <laughs> little plug. So sorry. Uh, uh, the title on kick needs to be changed up. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, I forgot to ch I forgot to do that because I use Restream. Um, thank you for pointing that out for me. I really appreciate that. Let me go to my dashboard here and um, let me edit that info. Oh, yeah. Murder mystery. What the heck? What am I talking about? Jeez. Um, let me fix that title right now. Thank you so much. Do -do -do -do. Uh, and the category. I need to put a category too. Say art, right? Boop. There we go. Fixed. Thank you so much, Flo. I appreciate that. All the help. I need it. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> oh, man. I'm having trouble. I can't pop uh, the kick chat out anymore. It's it, it disconnects. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, let's get back at it. Let's get back at it. All right, how are we doing? Okay. Woo! 
got credit for Dale's work? Oh, did Dale say it? I'm so sorry. Apologies. <laughs> I appreciate it nonetheless, guys, though. <laughs> highlighted the comment got it got it got it I got it it's a team effort thank you we'll go team <laughs> You know, with streaming, there's a lot to think about, right? And it's, you know, I, I've always been streaming on multiple platforms. Um, usually means it takes longer to set up because you got to set up each one individually. And there's always something I forget. Um, you know, really, I, sh I should be, I should have a checklist, right? And just go down my checklist. Okay, let's see. enjoying your time with Rumble? Um, okay, my chat just disappeared on kick. What just happened? It like, it's just, what? Well, I'm going to refresh my, uh, my, my kick page. Well, I'm going to refresh my, uh, I hate the fact that it always turns the volume on. Yeah, I can't I can't pop out the window for for um for kick chat anymore. I don't know why. Um let me see if I can actually get back into it. No, apparently not. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the size of it over here. And then I can keep track. But yeah, you've been having a good time with uh, with Rumble, hey? Uh, don't do Odyssey though, you said. I think Odyssey has a way that you can transfer all your video content or something like that. If you've got like 300 subscribers or more um, from YouTube, you can like do a direct transfer. Grayscale, uh, oh, the light is hitting that. 
So what I've got here is I've got uh, from Tombow. Uh, it's a dual brush, uh, grayscale brushes. So it gives me just a bit of a range here from, uh, it's basically kind of a cool, cool gray. Um, now these are water-based, which are blendable. But again, I'm mixing it with uh, an, an alkaline, alkaline pen, right? So um, you get some funky results. <laughs> Let's just say that's not the way I can't. I need to turn it this way. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, let's just grab one of these. That one feels like it's got purple in it. I don't know why. And that seems really dark. Yeah, that seems really dark. What is that? That's a 65? Where are my lighter grays? Bro. Funky results. All right. Now what this does is this wets the paper a fair bit. So, because it is water-based, right? It allows me to co cover a, uh, a surface, a large surface quite quickly. Just kind of Big Nintendo um, guy. Try to, I would probably say the N64 era um, was like my primary console uh, for a long time. And um, I have a lot of nostalgia for the NES and Super NES as well. But I would say I would say the N64 was my one of my most favorite consoles. And of course, granite of time. Woo! Blew my, blew my socks off. Dig in the eyes. Uh -huh. All right. Do some uh, patterns here. There looks like there's some lines going around here somewhere. What does that do? Some empty space, and then it kind of eats on that side. I'm almost kind of using this as my undercoat. And then I want to put in texture with, um... man, should I bring out the pencil crowns? Might be cool. Might be cool. A little bit more color on the eyes. I'll give you guys a closer look. Hmm. 
Okay, so I thought what I'm thinking we could do. Now, where the hell is my pencils? Oh no. Oh, so disorganized sometimes, man. Um, I had. One second. What is going on? Let's see. Where are my where are my pencils, man? My pencils. I need my pencils. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's grab. I've got some pencils here. There we go. There we go. Woo. Hey. Oh man. Okay. Um. Uh, so Flo says Odyssey is cool, but it's pretty dead. Uh, stream there to get a blockchain replays. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got, I think you get paid for views, right? Or there's like some sort of currency thing. I don't really know much about it. I don't know, know much about anything. Uh, is this what I want? Why are these so short? And why are these all broken? <laughs> I have no... Okay. Uh, I also need... A pencil sharpener. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> Where's my bloody sharpeners? Come on, man. Um. But up, 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 up. You know what? I might just take a blade to it. Cause when I do have some pencil sharpeners. So the reason why, I'm, okay, Stephanie, if you must know, uh-oh, I just popped that out. Uh, the reason why I'm a bit disorganized right now, guys, is uh, I had to make room and space and stuff like that for the hot wing stream and my like my art desk and stuff like that kind of got all packed away and uh, all that stuff, right? So now I'm, uh-oh, uh there we go. I can hear again. Okay, good. Um, I'm trying, it's going to take me a couple, couple times to get back to it, right? I ne I never laid claim I was a professional. <laughs> All right, let me, um, oh, where's the garbage can? Oh my God. All right, I got the garbage can. Nice. I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Mystic, good to see ya. How are you doing? Hope you're well. The music stopped. Oh, so it bugged out, did it? It did bug out. Thank you for letting me know. Um, uh, it's all because of this, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me let me uh, let me quickly try to see if I can fix it. Um, okay, the music just completely bugged. How do I get the music to not bug out? Okay. So my OBS does this sometimes, and I don't know why. It's almost like it... it um, I need to change the properties. No. Okay, I think I got it working again. <gasps> oh my God. That was like a record time, guys. Holy cow. <laughs> Alright, what am I what am I in right now? I'm a, I'm about 45 minutes into the drawing. Alright. Stephanie Thompson. Thumbs up sign. Nice. We got it, we got it working. Uh, Stephanie, gold star to you for letting me know that the music cut out because I could hear it and you guys couldn't. Hopefully it wasn't like that for too long. Oh, wow. All 
right. I want to I want to have some light playing off of the, the hair too. Um, so I got to work out my shadows here and kind of figure out how we're how we're going to approach it. But I kind of want to get a more drawn look to this. I don't want it to look too polished. The the game itself has kind of like that um, animated cell um, style, but I kind of want I, I want something magical about stuff that looks very hand drawn, right? So I kind of want to have that kind of sketchiness. James Thorlaxon. Not that people need to know, but Monday is the Alberta provincial elections. Oh, you guys are having the uh, elections, hey? It's that time of year. I know uh, Bert has uh, been getting a lot of fires lately, right? Like that's, that's a pretty um, there's a lot of people that got affected. Yeah, Flo, I don't know Jade if um, I don't know if people Hello, stream on Odyssey and get really GTS paid a lot. Just, it's it's an alternative to YouTube, right? XP experience points now available. Mr. Angel Christina. Hi, Jade. <laughs> Good to see ya. All right, so I'm thinking. light playing off this and I can play off that. I think I think that's what I want to do. I have a light that. Hit that that peak. And this would be a bit darker here too. And then this would be like shadow. Jade 44. I'm good. Watching at Elf Saw, he is great. Aw, you. Appreciate you. I want to also thank everyone that jo joined us for um, a Hot Wing stream. Uh, that was, that was, it's not, not something, I mean, we've only done it one time, one time before, but. Elf, the chat is now playing on audio for everyone to hear. That's new. Oh, interesting. Uh, that was unintentional. So it, the so you know what's happening is you guys are hearing the TTS as well. And do you, okay, here's a question: Do you guys like that? Um, generally, what I've always done is I've hidden that from uh, from everyone. So like when I'm working, I can pay attention to chat at the same time focusing on the drawing, right? So I use the TTS to kind of Mr. really help me with that. Mr. Angel Christina. Sorry I missed your hot wing stream. Oh, no worries. This thing, it's not. Uh, it was only if you could make it. It's all good. Um, I do have the, the replay up on, on my YouTube page, of course. Uh, and, it, and I eventually, of course, will be putting together a highlight reel. <laughs> It's just those things take a bit of time to work on. And, and with uh, SAR's hand the way it is and stuff like that, we've been, uh, been concentrating on driving her to and from Steph any Thompson. the hospital. And... Hard to hear you talk when the chat jumps in. Okay, is the, is, is, the, is the chat louder than me? But that's the only way you guys can hear the music. Let me see if I can... All right, let me see. Let's... What if I do? Um, let's 
Let's see if I can do... What is this under? That. Alright, let me, let me stick that there. Oh my gosh. Um... See, that completely takes it off. Yeah, so you, you got you guys are saying that the the do you want me to lower the volume of that? But then then the music will lower, right? Um dang. Let me know if you guys can still hear the TTS when it when it pops off. Uh yeah, also uh, Pablo, I mean we we um we didn't have as violent reactions as we did the first time around. Um, I did prepare myself a little bit more um, and maybe that 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 wasn't it wasn't as big a reaction as it was the first time around. Maybe that worked against me. I'm a crazy mofo. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Okay, so you guys can hear the music, but not TTS. Perfect, we got it fixed. OBS decided to play ball. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Bizarre. So what I'm doing is I'm going really dark in the corners of the mouth. Because um, what that does is it makes it feel like it's an indentation, right? You can hear my lovely voice? I do not have a lovely voice. Stephanie, have you ever heard me sing karaoke? Um, some of the early D live streams when I was doing stuff with, uh, with the coin captain, um, we would, we, they're the first ones to coerce me into doing some karaoke. And that's back when I, I used to use, believe it or not, Steph, see, Stephanie was, has not been here. When I first started, I used a voice changer. I don't know if you know that. Uh, I would use, I created a character called the Elf Sar, and it was, um, it was a much deeper voice. And so I think the first karaoke song I sang was, um, Like a Virgin from Madonna. Uh, using the, <laughs> the really deep voice. Oh man, they were such a bad influence on me, hey? <laughs> and I'm sad now because it's like both both those guys that I uh, that I kind of like when I started streaming and I kind of became friends with, I. They, they're not streaming anymore. I don't know. One day, one day, Steph, we'll 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 do another party stream and we'll 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 have some fun. I might go old school. Yeah, he's in Florida now. But um, yeah, it's kind of. Um, I think 
what the one of the the nice things about I guess the fact that COVID happened and stuff like that is people experimented and tried new things and it wasn't you know streaming is also not for everyone too I get that it's um, but I've I met so many amazing people through it that I like I just I um I'm gonna continue to to keep trying new things and experimenting and. You know, who knows? You know, I mean, I've only been doing this for what two years, so I've got I'm a rookie and I have a lot to learn. So I'm and I'm willing to learn it, right? Because I just I'm having fun. Um, I'll make mistakes along the way. Gonna be looking for what? Oh, no worries. Yeah, no worries. I got gotcha. you. You got dinner on the way. No worries at all. All right, let me uh, get my kick out again. Oh, my kick. Man. Give me a sec. I apologize if you guys are ch chatting on kick. Um, my kick chat has been acting up, so I do apologize. Big, big, big time. All right. Uh, uh, Poach fan, I made a sandwich and watched you as you were drawing this. You were super talented. Oh, thank you so much, dude. Um, and Flo says, I find streaming addictive. I've taken many breaks, but I can't seem to pull away entirely. I gotcha. I hear ya. I hear you. You got the bug, man. I get it. <laughs> um, yeah. I, hey, uh, Poach fan. I really appreciate the host. Thank you for. Thank you so much. And um, I do have like samples of my stuff. Obviously, it's some of the stuff is playing there. This is all stuff that was drawn live on stream. There's nothing here that I don't think was uh, not not featured. Well, there might be a couple pieces, but 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 most of the stuff was done on stream. And this was me learning how to draw on stream. Um, so it was, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's been a journey. It's been, a, it's been a challenge. Um, but that's how we grow. Right. So, um, but ever since my affiliate stream on D live, I've been, um, for almost two years now, been giving away drawings for free. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's been a, a very enjoyable experience. <laughs> I appreciate you, uh, hanging out too. Uh, what kind of sandwich, may I ask? <laughs> I'm I'm a, I'm a foodie. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lover of food, so I, I live vicariously through a lot of people. Oh, by the way, guys, I do have um, later this week. I'm going to be featuring another piece of artwork on the Patreon. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be free for all uh, Patreon members. It's a it's a it's a massive, really awesome drawing of the Joker, um, which I'm going to be giving to you guys. Uh, you're gonna it's a, it'll be a, available as a digital download. Um, there we go. All right, we got the nice. Let's see, so what? Are you, it's like it's like they're sideburns, they're long ass sideburns, they're kind of like creeping down. Aw, thanks. What the biggest adjustment was changing the way I draw, um, because what how I draw naturally and how you draw on stream are two different things, and I think that a lot of people don't I think realize that that there was a lot of adaptation involved because the way I draw, um, and it might also have to do with my light setup, right? Like I was getting reflections on the paper. And I was having problems with the camera picking it up. And so I've tried to change the way I've done things to kind of make it easier for, for you guys to see. Um, so in other words, instead of drawing with graphite, I'm drawing with a, a black colored pencil, which is actually non-reflective, uh, where the graphite was reflecting the light back. And so it was just, it was looking shiny and not good. <laughs> um, but you don't know that until you start doing it, right? Like it's, it's, it's you look back at your footage and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. <laughs> All right, how are we doing this? We're doing this over here. This is going to be like, um, cape kind of coming down through here. All right. Um, and then the hair here, too. Hey, 
Elizabeth's here. Welcome. Hey, Elizabeth. How you doing? I'm sorry to hear your mom was um, got a cold. Uh, she. How was her trip, by the way? Did you like? Hopefully, she had a good time. Uh, aside from getting sick, um, she was on a cruise, right? Refresh my memory. Where was she visiting again? Uh, she's been, she's been gone in multiple places, I think. All right. Got this ear hanging out over here. Oh, she went to Alaska. Oh, wow. I've always wanted to go there. Never been. We're having kind of this folding and flipping around, so I'm like, let's add some twists and turns. Like it's blowing in the wind. Whoa, who did that? Noogie! Hey, do a doogie! Elsa, I hope you like ice cream, because you got one. I say doogie. It should be Dougie, right? It's Dougie, right? But I say doogie! I don't know why is it... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, doogie! Good to see ya. Hello and hail gang! That's awesome. You guys, I need to make a... I need to make a, a hail emote. Don't I? I should make a hail emote. Because it's like, a lot of people want to say hail and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, I should make it as, a, as a, an emote for uh, for D-Live. Scottish folk. Oh uh, yeah, doogie. Doogie. All right, so I'm saying it the Scottish way. The correct way. <laughs> well, happy accidents, right? That's a theme of my channel too. Okay, lippy lips. All right. I gotta put shadow on the lip without making it look like he's wearing lipstick. All right. Why are elves always so pretty? <laughs> I mean, Link is. I mean, has it ever been established? Like. I, Link's not an elf, right? Like, he's a... I don't think they've ever called them elves. It's cooling off a bit, which is nice. Uh, we've had a, a bit of heat that's been kind of... not fun. <laughs> been not fun at all. Um, hard, Really hard to sleep at night when, when it's hot, right? I... I don't, I'm unfortunate that I don't have any AC. I don't have, actually have any um, air conditioning in my house. So it's kind of sucks. So it's, it's really hard to sleep sometimes when it gets super hot. But, but it's been cooling off, which is nice. A lot easier to sleep. here as well um <laughs> sorry let me let me go back to the poach fat said dakota salami turkey ham mozzarella cheese with the tortilla chips in the middle for extra crunch that's my dude that's how it's done on sourdough bread even nice and flipping says i spent like three hours shading the upper lip it's probably the best drawing i've ever done napoleon dynamite <laughs> what a quote nice what a film that was. I remember seeing that film.
<laughs> Napoleon Dynamite for the win. Exactly. What what was the what was the what was the magical animal? It was a lynx? Was it no, it was a Was it a lynx? I think it was a lynx. coming together. It's got like this little um, belt, harness. Totally forgot your mom room is cool. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, did you suffer through the whole time and didn't go to your mom's room? Oh no. the uh, KP Cape. So far so good. I almost kind of feel like what's missing here? Like, should we do it like a sword hilt kind of coming out this way? Oh, too late. I already drew it. Alright, let's do crisscross straps. Shade that to kind of just makes makes it like there's a it's a weapon off to the side, right? Cool. All right, come together. Now these stripes here are kind of a pattern on the cloak. And then by me drawing on top, it kind of gives it that texture. Kind of wanting. Nice. Yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to it, guys. I've, I've missing backup has been really difficult, um, and so for, even for my own mental health and stuff like that, I think it's just I, it's just it's gonna help me a lot. So um, I'm very much looking forward to it. But we're going to be doing a lot of you know, obviously it's a fresh start, new training, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna try and include you get guys in on it as best I can. Um, so I will be posting videos and stuff like that of a lot of videos of, uh, of backup 2.0. Um, and then, so instead of bombarding my, uh, my current channel with it, I'm, um, that's why I launched the new channel just to separate it. Just cause there are a lot of people that signed up just for the art or just for the games and they're not really interested in dog stuff. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Well, um, 
I think it's it's, it's a it's a better option. And that's Elf and Sar. Elf and Sar. Um, on YouTube. All right. Sweet. Kind of looks like a turtleneck. Beautiful. Okay. Chill vibe. Maybe the threads or something like that. Looking like. Should I? Should I maybe separate these with lines? Not possibly. doing this we're gonna do a what am i doing two and time wise oh we're doing great we're doing fabulous actually let's bring out the pens like so um there's a there's a scene where Napoleon throws the button pin at dawn in the hallway and runs away and comes come to mind where you're quickly pretty quickly walking away. Uh <laughs> it's very much like that. Uh <laughs> all the famous people you've met, the only one one you fan void out on, hey? A liger! That's what it was. My god. Again, my um my chat disappears. Why? I have to read. I am terrible at catching up on on kick chat. It keeps bugging out on me. Oh, drive me nuts. Okay. What do we want to do with this? I want to... Maybe add some uh, some highlights and stuff like that. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, that's what I think I'm going to do. Add some ridges. This kind of needs to, this needs to continue here. This needs to con continue around and be like a hood goes around the ears or around the, the head. And it's kind of like, a, that's what's missing here. It needs to look like it's kind of going around, right? So it needs to separate from that. Uh, yeah, 
possibly. And then we'll have the, the light kind of coming up. Um, maybe a shadow here as well. Doubt, lock it out, right? That's what they say. Now we got a nice sense of light here, right? Kind of, that'll help. Uh, we might go back into it a little bit just to pull out what we want. Oh man, okay. I don't have my timing. Okay. We have, okay. So. need a drink. I'm going to drink something because I'm... <laughs> um, Hello, I've... I have... Uh, that last year, if I remember correctly, um, I did a Darth Vader drawing and I was using some white pen and it leaked completely over the page and I had to actually in incorporate that pool of... Uh, of of white into the drawing. And it ended up being a reflection on Darth Vader's mask. Uh, I was doing a Star Wars drawing of Darth Vader. Um, so it got incorporated into the drawing. We had to kind of work with it, right? Because I may, I really screwed up. <laughs> um, and it's happened before too. I've, I've done things where it's like, it didn't can't come out as intended and things like that happen. Um, there's no undo button, right? There's no undo. That's why it's so nice. Like it. Um, I wouldn't call myself a master. I think any artist has has to have to have like you don't grow unless you do that, right? Like if you experience it, this pen seems like it's almost about dead. Uh I need to figure out a better solution for this. Is this one dead too? Seems dead. Come on. Is there any ink left in this thing? Um, but it turned out actually really good. I, I I I I have to say that it was a we call it a happy accident because it actually added something to the drawing. It was quite um quite fun. Um, in fact, I think Elizabeth has that drawing. She's got the Darth Vader. Drive me crazy. Just drive me nuts. You got Darth Vader, that's right. Veda. Veda. Do it. I'm adding some white here, and I don't know if it's doing what I want it to do, but we shall see. You never know unless you try, right? to do. Ah, that'd be crazy. Let's 
I don't even know if it's even reading on stream. Hmm. Yeah. Woo! All right. Adding a little bit of light corners of the mouth. Ghost of Bob Ross and Happy to Japan. Uh, <laughs> Why am I drawing happy little trees? I'm just doing is adding a little bit of highlights where I feel I need them. Um, I want to have again kind of effect on the background here, so I want to kind of make these look like threads. Now it looks like there's like threads, right? A little bit. There was a, I think a special on Netflix um, about Bob Ross, um, about kind of like the family's fight for his fortune and stuff like that. Um, and it provided a lot of, a lot of in interesting info on that whole dynamic. <laughs> Uh, when did he die? I don't, I don't recall. Five. It was ninety five when he passed away. Okay. Ninety 
95. All right, I'm gonna do Right. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding some flush tone kind of colors uh, for Link. Just to give it a bit of warmth. Um, okay, hold on. I need the I need the front of the nose as well. going to do I'm gonna add these eyes be nice and big and blue nice big blue eyes you kind of see what's going on his eyes color will match his tunic. Still not, still not enough. 
There we go. Hey, Emma! Good to see you! Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Last for the past, guys. Welcome! It was a huge surprise. It wasn't one at that. going on. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, doing all right. Uh, uh, just, uh, um, sorry, hurt her hand. Uh, well, hurt her hand. Uh, she got uh, um, attacked by a dog. Um, and uh, she, um, going to the hospital to try to get treatment and stuff like that um, and so it's a, it's a bit worrisome because we were like wondering if any of their uh, ability to move her hand was going to be coming back at all so she's going to be doing some rehab um, and uh, our we went to the hospital this morning and, and things are looking 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 good so we're hopeful Um, but yeah, we, like we were looking at the possibility of six months, um, recovery time, which is like, oh no, that's a lot longer than we thought it was going to be. If things go well, it won't take that long. All right. I need the hair, 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 hair. I'm going to get, make sure the color is right for this hair too. Oh, that's fantastic news. That's fantastic news, Emma. That is great. I'm so happy for you. I know you've been you've been trying to get a place of your own for uh, for a while. That's fantastic. Yeah, definitely fill us in for sure. little bit of a brighter yellow. Yeah.
right, all right, all right. We got that pretty much, I think, the way we want it. Um, what's this? That. And then it's kind of like that similar blue to this. Technically. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend to be on late in the uh, late in the evening on in the UK. Is. These, these are just not, they're not performing the way they should. It's like, they're, it's like the ink has run dry. I need just paint, you know what I'm going to do? Screw this. Let's go. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm struggling with my paint pens for a very good reason. I'm just going to go to the source here. We're going to grab some white ink and shake it up first. Of course, I don't have anything here for it. Um, but I had brushes here. Let's try an experiment. I'm going to grab ink from the tip and do it that way. some like light reflecting. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well. But we're getting, we're getting kind of an interesting kind of light effect on the hair. shape now. It's got shape to it. Uh, 
can be proud. I'm using my fingers. <laughs> All right. A blow here on the cheek. Same thing on the nose. forward side as well. Uh, oh, there's fear. There's always fear. Um, yeah, I just, you know what? Because it's, I think what, when you, when you've drawn long enough, you know that even if you screw up, you can fix it, right? That's, that's really, I mean, the fear's there though. Like I can, you know, like it happens, right? It's, um... It's really just, it's, I mean, if you, if you're, if you don't let go of fear, um, you'll never be able to, uh, get a drawing done, right? Like it's, <laughs> and also art is about experimentation. Um, and sometimes experimentations don't go right. Like sometimes I think, I think that's um, that's why a lot of uh, children's art and like kindergarten and things like that they they have no fear, um, and so their art tends to be really good. And I think a lot of artists, and it's all about trying to reclaim that that lack of fear in a lot of ways. I mean, are there mistakes that you can't recover from? Probably, yeah, there always is. There's, there's, there's gonna be those, you know, very large mistakes, but, um, but yeah, I think I would, I would say it is a good way to live life too. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, success is, you know, failure is part of success. It's not, it's not the opposite of it part of it. It's part of the journey. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, uh, I think that's, uh, that's something that we gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta, gotta accept it and, and be, you know, it's part of our lives um, for everybody. Yeah, he's brain. He's <laughs> yeah. Link's wearing the turtleneck again. It's like yo. Uh, time wise, how are we doing? Okay. That kind of tie it up. All right. Uh, 
Um, you know what I forgot? To do? I need to do these little things here as his um, and it should be like a rope in between, I guess, maybe. Actually, I need a I, I want a brown, like a brown, like tan or something. really matter. Yeah, it's a good way, good way to live your life, right? Always. Okay, so we got this here as well. This should be a brown. Not the kind of, not that type of brown. Um, let's see. So for some reason, turtlenecks remind you of Jack Cousteau. <laughs> Jack. You know, what I, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do his eyebrows, guys. Link's got these uh, eyebrows here. Nice. And then I'm gonna take a very light blue and put that on the eyes. And then that will make the reflection of the eyes sparkle as if they're a lot brighter. It'll be the highlight. It's supposed to be. Now, normal, normally I like to colorize a lot of stuff with a little bit of... See, the one thing it's missing right now, it needs that, like... It needs a little bit of reflection or some sort of hint of something. I'm going to just grab my uh, pencil crafts here. I'm just going to add just a touch of a, of a warm glow here on the, on the cheek. Because that's that's what, what's missing from the drawing right now is uh, ambient light. Ambient light is light that reflects, right? Um, so you would imagine there to be colored light. surfaces, right? So I just want the hint of this. I know it's hard to see on the on the on the stream, but I'll, I'll try and show you what I mean. Just adding a little bit of warmth 
to it. It makes a big difference. I think, anyway. And add a little bit of light to that. Reflective light, reflective light. Let's grab a blue. What kind of green? And now we're going to enter some of that blue into the hair, reflecting off of everything else. into the blue in the hair. some on his skin as well. Getting close to it.
Pablo, what's up, man? texture or some sort of something to the cloth here. It's not 100% clean. It's it's just kind of there for the eyes to pick up on. I think. PC, how you doing, man? I see you on Twitchy. Catches the light a tiny bit, just to show that there is an ear there. <laughs> It'll link. Um, do I do I do a background? We do a background. Should we do a different color? I think so. Let me let me close this. I don't spill it all over the drawing. You doing good? How are you? Nice. I uh, yeah, doing all right. Wow. All right. Close that up. Um, in terms of background, I'm thinking I want to maybe do some green. I think we've got a yellow and we got blue in there. We don't really have too much of a, of a green. Maybe an aqua would be kind of cool. I'm thinking of just finishing it off. Final touch. Been trying to be always good about getting the, um, the backgrounds in there. So let's see. Let me see where it is. It's like a nice aqua. Hi, everything that's in my final finale here.
charge my brush. Right on. All right. I'm pretty happy with the way that's kind of turned out. Um, only thing I might want to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of what, what the hell? Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Keith out there with a with a with a host of seven from from the kick side of things. How are you doing, man? Thank you, man. You're obviously turning in for the night. <laughs> Appreciate that host. Link. All right. All right. Wow. Well, that's that's one of two drawings. My gosh. Okay. So uh, we did one drawing. We're gonna jump into a second drawing, real quick here. I might use the same colors. Um, you can kind of see, these are kind of the colors of the drawing, right? <laughs> it's kind of neat. Um, so what we're going to do, hey, thank you. Uh, all right. The question is how much is that is dirty? I'm going to put this over to the side here. So forgive me guys. Just going to get out of our way. And then I'm going to take brush here and just brush this off a little bit. Okay. And then start let's start with the let's start with the eyes start with the eyes we always tend to start with the eyes now do you guys want me to you know what i'll do i'll, I'll switch to the pencil crayon we'll go straight into that and if i screw up i'll have to incorporate it into the drawing sound good i always get nervous about this all right, let's try this. Um, uh, yes, it's going to be Link. It's going to be Link. We're going to do a different outfit, though. Uh, no worries. Uh, 
Yeah, this is from the uh, from the new game for Tears of Tears of the Kingdom. Link is an interesting name. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't played it. <laughs> Uh, I imagine it is. I imagine. Um, it's like sold over like 10 million copies or something like that. Something ridiculous. I heard a lot of comparisons that a lot of people said that it's taken a lot from uh, Genshin Impact and incorporated into the game. I'm not 100% sure. Give a kind of windblown hair look. So we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have Link pulling out his sword. I think is what we're gonna do. Um, roughly, trying to do a kind of more dynamic pose for you guys uh, than just a standard. Um, I you're not gaming much. That makes sense. I mean, there's so many games out there. If you've already got a system and you've already got games you, have, you know, need to play, there's no need to spend money on new games. Um, it's uh, games tend to go on sale quite um, quite early too. Look, my friend. All right. See Emma again, for sure. <laughs> back. I'm gonna do an arm reaching back for it. At the same time, I'm gonna work out how this is. All right. 
right, so up to here. The forearm going up to the hand, right? So they're gonna do a hand here. He's got like um, these things around his fingers. Obviously, it has to do with the pa like the power that you use in the game. else could be a handful. <laughs> I mean, since Emma's been gone, there's been a man, there's a new king. Now you're probably wondering why am I leaving a space up here? Because I think I want to do an effect around the arm and I'm not too sure where it's going just yet. So I'm kind of, I'm, I haven't drawn it in just yet. <laughs> Sometimes it's a lot to try to figure it figure it out, right? Figure how it's gonna be put together. Um. Oh. <laughs> and iPod's upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
probably patterns around them. All right, working it out, working it out. Sorry, guys, this is, it's a bit complicated, actually. <laughs> it's more inclined about Toga. Okay, now I can also do his weapons behind him. How am I, okay, so he's got the sword, he's also got a shield and a bow, right? So I gotta do the bow as well? All right, let's work out this power first. Stuff around the um, arms, too. Um, all right, so that's up there like that. We're going to have the power kind of coming around. How am I going to represent the power, though? Um, it's almost like it should be spinning around his arm. Let's go like this. Give ourselves a... Excuse me. So that's doing that. Power's kind of zooming in around, right? So we got we got basically the the flow of the drawing here, kind of going up and around, kind of guides the eye around too, which is kind of neat. It's one thing you can do with the powers and abilities, right? Um, okay, what we need to do is I need to draw. I need to figure out now. Oh. Then 
the hell is this one? It's like the shield behind him. It's complicated, right? There's a lot going on here. Yikes. Okay. No worries, Emma. Thank you for dropping on. I really appreciate you coming in and saying hi. On Honestly, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. <laughs> um, Flo, yeah, it does look like a He-Man pose. It does. <laughs> you need to get Leo and Dale to stream together. Dale could do a do a stream with just playing music. It doesn't have to be on camera. Much love, Emma. Take care. Have a good night. Sleep well. And again, I appreciate really appreciate you coming and say hi. Let us know that you're that you're well. I always fear fear the worst. You know that's. He could wear a mask or something, probably be a hit. Yeah, he needs a Chip and Dale costume. Like, <laughs> like the cartoon, not the strippers. got the pose we got the pose that took a long time to do too oh my gosh this is one's way more complicated okay what do i do what do i do should i just jump in there or... my tester page is needs to be replaced <laughs> This is not, this is not helping. Um, let me. Right. It's gonna go in, get my feet wet. I drop in color right away. I also help us kind of determine where everything is, right? So we're gonna I'm just gonna drop in some play, a little bit of uh some of his skin. where we kind of want it. Um, I'm going to go in with some shadow as well. Light would be hitting the face, I think. So grip there, and then we'll maybe do a shadow on this side of the face. Always jump. All right. 
gives me a bit of. Let's, I actually like this. So let's let's identify all the objects first by color. So up here we've got a bow and the shield. Playing in a color. This is complicated. Uh, the straps for the bow. Oh, the bow has like a little design or something like that. Like a so, and he's also got this kind of brown cable, not cable, rope. So now we got identify where that is. Okay, perfect. like a power glove. So far, so good. Got that plotted out. That's good. All right. Um, the power is here. So we're going to just emphasize that by marking it like so.
Roberts. Um, I imagine usually it has to do with the powers and abilities that you acquire during the game. I don't know if you, like, I honestly don't know, but I think you probably upgrade your, um, your arm and its powers and abilities, and as you upgrade it, it, um, it gets more and more glowy and powerful. Um, that's what I, I theorize. Um... And so what we're doing is we're showing I think this is this is the maximum um you know it's it link as a god basically <laughs> I think I think uh, he might have gangrene might want to get it checked out <laughs> hero. <laughs> Big blue eyes. And we'll get some blonde hair going as well. See ya. Hello and welcome. Are you guys still doing the uh, the the hot sauce tasting this Saturday? You said you mentioned you were um waiting for for Monster to join you. Is she doing it as well? Nice. What do you know what she ordered? Same product? I imagine if you're doing it together, you're probably doing the same same sauces, right? That would make sense. No? Oh, she's gonna be doing different sauces. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. Do you know what do you know what sauces she's doing or Okay, let's see. 
Okay. <laughs> It'll be a surprise. A Keanu's ugly twin. Oh wow, it's gonna be a surprise then. Hope she didn't try to do something too hot. <laughs> around his fingers. It must be something to do with the blood. <laughs> yeah, when they break apart like that, I guess it would be hard to, hard to dip in salsa. <laughs> much laid out. Okay, so what I've been doing, guys, is I've just been laying in the color so that I don't muddy it up. changing it up on the channel so we're gonna be uh, again I haven't decided yet I'm just testing this out <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm gonna use these or not maybe we'll see Been eating hot sauce for a little while, it, it you start to understand the, the flavor, right? Like it. No, I just I spent time building up a tolerance, 
to it. Um, and, you know, I, I, I was actually surprised and shocked how the sauces didn't affect us as much as it did the first time. Um, So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of building the toga up, right? So I'm kind of like, okay, this is a light. Um, okay, this is, this is, I think it's working. I think it's... arm here a bit, kind of flowing out here like that. This is the muscle comes down. Uh, if you have a low tolerance for hot sauce, my tips are is to eat um, a little bit of hot sauce uh, each day working up until the day that you're gonna be trying all the hot sauces. I would suggest Instead of trying it by itself or eating a hot pepper by itself, I would suggest adding it to food. It's much more tolerable that way. Um, if you start doing that a little bit, you will, you will build up a tolerance. Like even if you start now, um, you've got a few days, so you can uh, give yourself kind of an idea of what to expect. <laughs> but I understand if you want a genuine, like first time you've ever tried the sauce, um, it'll be much more genuine if you wait, I guess. But the sauces, I believe, Karen, that you ordered are not that hot. They're not too hot, so you should be okay. Uh, my only other suggestion is if is to prepare yourself for, if it does get too hot, have something at the, at the ready. Slices of lemon, sugar. Uh, I, I found that drinking cream with honey and uh, maple syrup in it worked wonders. It I, That was like the... Um, it, it really helped kill the spice right away. So that would be my suggestion. But have fun with it, for sure. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of more shadow here under the eye. Water doesn't help as much. I will say that. Um, it, it, what it does help is it helps spread it around the rest of your mouth. <laughs> but water does, it's like its like trying to dissolve oil with water, it doesn't work, right? Um, so the capsaicin doesn't really diminish that much. But a lemon wedge, yeah. Cut up some lemon wedges and that's ex extreme sour. You put a lemon wedge in your mouth and it should kill it. it. Should help. Won't kill it completely, but it will help for sure. Okay. That was fun about it was the fact that there was a lot of different flavors. Are you guys doing the five the five minute uh, afterburn? shouldn't be in trouble right like you guys are not gonna be having stuff that's too hot um, 
Ghost Pepper and Carolina Reaper, however, they're not. Those aren't. Those aren't. They're nothing to joke about with. They uh, they're pretty serious. <laughs> but, but you'll have fun. You'll definitely have fun. All right. This one has the shadow. Cool. Okay. Slowly, kind of, again, figuring out where everything is, and it's. Um, come together. I wonder how I should do the glow of this. Maybe with um, chalk pastels or something. And we'll have it maybe reflect off of it, off the body. I think that's how we can show the glow. So we can do that as our kind of last step. Um, this is the master sword back here. So we just like that. Dark. And I gotta, again, I forgot to do the eyebrows, guys. Silly me. All right, Link. Man. Okay. It's in the name. EA Sports. <laughs> Sorry. That's just... <laughs> Well, good, good, good advertising is like cemented in my memory. You won't even what? You won't even sniff them? <laughs> okay. For new people, I ask. I always ask if they use mayo, like sriracha mayo. Um, I'm a sriracha mayo would be good, I think. Shading and stuff like that. So the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take the black marker from my here. Okay, we're at halfway point. Where do I start? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's the, that's the easiest and tastiest way to get used to it, right? Is by cooking with um, with with hot peppers, applying it to your food, or you know, applying it afterwards on top, so you can kind of you know test it out. If it's not hot enough, you can you can add a little bit more. Um, Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard because it's like it's everyone's spice tastes differently to everyone, right? Like it is it is a bit subjective. So um, again, it's if you build up a tolerance, it, it um, you're able to you're, you're able to go spicier and spicier I guess, um, without it hurting too much. I mean, the hurt is still there. It's just it's not as impactful. I, think. I don't know. It's not like the hurt diminishes. I think you get you get used to it. Like wasabi is um, is kind of like more of a, uh, a nasal uh, heat. That's why it disappears really, really quickly, right? 
doesn't um, doesn't hang around. Uh, example of what I'm doing there. Thai food is like your fave. <laughs> well, also Indian, right? Indian food um, has a lot of spices too. Um, Yeah, it's it's not it's not it's not real wasabi. <laughs> Be too expensive. Yeah, that that totally um was like a mind blowing thing for Cam. He was like he's never thought of putting spice or uh, hot sauce on his uh, lasagna, and he's like, hot lasagna is that a thing? And it's like, yeah, that's a big thing. Radish paste, um, isn't it? It's like a paste. It's like the imitation wasabi. Yeah, there's like different color curries too, like different color um, red curries, yellow curries, green curries. Each one has kind of different heat levels as well as taste. All right, this is, this effect's happening. Right? We're, we're we're trying to get the effect that it's some sort of like spinning thing around his arm. I guess maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's working. What happens when we talk about food, right? We get hungry. I, I understand. I get it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you though that the um, the the hot wing stream kind of wrecked me. Uh, in terms of my diet and stuff like that, right? It's been really tough getting back into doing kind of keto stuff. Uh, really difficult. <laughs> ah, man, I gotta construct this again. Radish to hamburgers? Ooh. I'm adding a green reflection to the hair here. Um, and it's going to be a lot of ambient light, right? So I figured.
Are you advertising the um the the stream for Saturday? Yeah, it's a good way to do it, for sure. Advertise on your channel. Again, so much green. Now we need to add a little bit more warmth to it. Hey, Fortunate. Yeah, it's been it has been a while. How you been? Hope you're well. Grab a brown-ish thing. Orangey brown. Gorgeous hair there, Link. Yeah, it's interesting. It's like, uh, Karen, uh, I've always, no I've noticed, and I just recently had a birthday, and, and I, I've noticed, like, the years just keep tending to feel like they're speeding up, right? Like, it just feels like, I guess it's, you know, when you're young, your perception of time is different because you've only been living for X amount of years, and so it feels like forever because... You know, let's say you're eight years old and you, you know, one year is one eighth of your life. When you're much older, one eighth of your life is, you know, like that's significant, right? Um, so one year feels like it's like it's less and less each year. You know what I mean? It's our perception of time. It's fascinating. I think the alternative is getting younger. <laughs> I 
that's true. There's also there's also inner age, right? Like your your your, your, your inner body has a different kind of like age than your actual age. Doing all right? Hanging in there, bud. <laughs> I think, you know what I need to do? I need to have more of a shadow underneath here so that it looks like it's. Yeah. Now it looks like it's wrapping around. It's because I didn't do the shadow right. And I didn't draw this part. I don't think one eye is bigger than the other, is it? But also, expression! <laughs> That's, yeah, I did it on purpose. Gonna be expressive. Yeah, that's that that's the excuse. <laughs> they fixed it? Nice. Or are they? Maybe it's an illusion. <laughs> losing weight is good losing weight is good um you know the, the main thing i think is just activity it's it's you got to keep moving you got to keep um exercising that kind of thing because that will catch up to you um and even if it's just walking it's enough like honestly walking is one of the healthiest things you could do for yourself Sar and I love going for walks. Um, and we notice we stop doing it as much without backup, right? So once we get backup 2.0 back in our lives, I think uh, we're gonna, you know, it helps us keep that regular routine of always walking, going for walks, going for hikes. I mean, when he's a puppy, it's gonna be really hard. Like he'll tuck her out, just getting, getting down the, down the driveway, right? Like it's, <laughs> He's not going to be walking much from the get-go, but uh, it won't take him long, for sure. That way it feels like it's going back. Yeah.
Yeah, I miss I miss I miss my boy. So um, I also, guys, I, I I put together a new uh, video on a, on the new channel, uh, Elf and Sar on YouTube, and even putting that video together, I was breaking into tears and stuff. I just I I, I just I couldn't. Um, I've had a hard time dealing with it. Right. So it's it's. Uh, I'll never forget backup, but I, 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 I want to put that love towards another creature, right? So, backup 2.0 will be good for me, I think. Uh, so, like, mistakes I made early on with um, Backup 1.0 1. 1. <laughs> is um, I would I would physically exhaust him uh, with, you know, rigorous hikes and, and whatnot. But I, I didn't do enough, I think, to mentally exhaust him. And I think that's the real trick is, is you not only have to, you know, exercise their their physicality, but also their mind. And that's what really makes them tired. So, there'll be lots of training right after the walk. Sorry, we got this nice uh, toga-ish thing happening. We're doing all right. I think we're on track. So tonight, what I've got cooking right now is I've got a something in the slow cooker. I've got a chipotle uh, cooking right now with chipotle peppers and um, just this cheap uh, beef uh, roast. It was like a, you know some of the cheapest meat you can find, right? And then basically cut it up into like little quarters. Put it in the slow cooker, make pour the sauce over top. I put some like green beans on, on top as well. And uh it'll be the reward at the end of the uh of the night. <laughs> we get to have some chipotle. I'm gonna put in some pink in his to his cheeks, right? His blood flowing into his muscles, so. Nice, okay. Okay, so far so good. What are we gonna do for lighting? Do we wanna do, I think maybe doing some Oh, the piano? Yeah, the Zelda music is so good. <laughs> Oh, nice. 
Yeah, the, the, the orchestra, like, ah, man. I even love just remixes. Remixes of Zelda music is just so good. Eric, is there is there like a after after school program type thing or something like that that you do at church? Because normally I, I I know a lot of people go to church on Sundays, but there must be like some sort of um, event or something. Hundred percent. Never stop learning, right? Because the world never stops te teaching. So. Um, it's. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of fires in Alberta. A lot of smoke into the air. Yeah, I my more I mean I'm pretty groggy in the mornings as well. I can't uh can't say I'd um uh, what was that? Yes, there we go. But I think it's important to have a routine, right? Man, grump, grump, grumpy grump guy. The fires are important though, right? You need to get rid of the brush.
Yeah, needs to, otherwise other things can't grow, right? It needs to be cleared out first. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like heavy lines on certain parts. Uh, no, Link is a boy. Link is a boy. Uh, Eric, you weren't here earlier. Let me, I'll show you the previous drawing that we did. This is what we did earlier. A Link, Link is a, Link is a boy. Um, just think of a, like a boy with longer hair. But I mean, it's anime, like a lot of that kind of. decided to do is to try to give a little bit of depth to this. I'm, I'm going heavier on one side of the these these um, elements here. And that way they'll have some form of like three-dimensional effect. And then um it's weird because it's like if that's glowing, like the natural shadows that I want to put on the arm, I can't do. So I'm I'm like I'm a little perplexed on what to how to shade it. <laughs> because what I, I like my natural instinct is to shadow the muscle, and I uh, I'll just leave it blank because I really don't know what to do. Maybe I'll shadow this part. these glowing? If they're glowing, why I shouldn't be doing... Hmm. Oh, I appreciate you so much, Jade. Honestly. There's a lot of people that lurk and they don't ever say hi, so uh, kudos to Jade for saying hello. <laughs> Thank you. But I, I did see you earlier too, Jade. Same color panic? What? Do I do a shadow underneath as if it's... If I put... Okay, so here, here's the thing. It connects here at the skin, right? So naturally, if something pulls away from the body, it would create a shadow on the figure, and that's what determines the space, right? So... So if you want to show something floating up top, it should it should create a shadow here. So I'm, I think that's what I'm going to do. So and then it ripples up above and then we want to show shape, right? So we're going to go curved around this and then curved again. And then what happens when we get here, right? It should, it should curve up. Then we'll link it back to that. And then what that should do is that should create space. As if it's floating above. The question is, does that look right? I don't like it so low. I think there's too much space. I think there's too much space, so I'm gonna actually go. I'm actually gonna go back, 
And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it closer. Cause I think I think we just gave it too much space. Hey black drop, welcome. So what I did was I moved it closer and I like that look better. I like I like it a lot better. Feels a little bit more natural. Okay. And then this shadow here. I'm not happy with the shadow either. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring it up. Hello, welcome. So the most important thing I guess in 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 drawing anything is really just looking, right? Exactly, exactly. It depends on how much you want. It's really the depending on what, what kind of look you want, too. You, I saw you're learning how to draw later. Oh. All right. A little bit of nipple action. It hurts, right? Hey, Sar, how you doing? Hey. Hello. You're home. Hello. Hi, chat. You have to speak a little bit louder than that. Hi, chat. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing Link. Link. Yeah. From the new game. Zelda. Yeah. I've got, uh, in the slow cooker, I've got it. The Chipotle cooking, it's been cooking for eight hours. Ooh. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, so, yummy. Once I'm done here and I give uh, one of these drawings away, we're gonna... Hi, we'll get, Elizabeth! We'll hi, Pablo! <laughs> you don't have to talk like... They're not Everyone's babies! Saying hi. They're not babies! They are babies. too! They're my babies! <laughs> don't, you don't, treat, don't you chat like they're babies! Come on! <laughs> Somebody said, actually, come to think about it, where is his left arm? Say again? Where's his left arm? It's samurai. Oh. He's got it underneath the cloak. That's his uh. left arm. His le he's, it, it's like samurai action, man. <laughs> Link's becoming a badass. <laughs> I'm gonna go relax. Okay, you go relax. You deserve it. Um. Yay. Okay. I'm just adding adding a little bit more shadow. I might want to go even more shadow underneath this. It must be white. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, and in terms of how we do this. Yeah, the, the thing, uh, like tutorials on YouTube and stuff like that are really interesting, but I mean, there's no right or wrong way to draw, guys. There really isn't. Um, the, I, I will say this though, the right way is to just keep doing it, always. It's, I mean, you cannot, you can't get better unless you're doing it, right? Like you just gotta keep keep drawing and like it won't be, it won't be good at first. It won't be great at first, it, you know? Um, and believe it or not, even for every like 20 drawings that are done, there's there's going to be good ones and bad ones, right? Like it's. I mean, a lot of the stuff I'm doing here is ex experimentation. Right? So it's not they don't always turn out and some turn out better than others. trying to think of what to do here um because it's kind of like do i need to add i need to add some form of other light or something like that one i'm trying to figure out what that would be maybe a violet let's go with a purple um that's my blade there it is am i okay time wise guys we got, we got a little bit of time. All right. Let's 
I don't want to make him look bruised, but at the same time, you know, like I need to have some some other color in here doing something. I like, I like using a lot of different colors in the drawings, to be quite honest, but... Um, Oh, you think a uh, violet, violet background would look good? drawing of, of mine um, unfortunately is a, is a drawing that got destroyed um, I was in university um, and we were prepping um, a bunch of art for a show which was our the big grad show um, and I had my my final piece that was going to be in the show Um, and what ended up happening was, uh, I was, I was working, um, on a piece and it was a little, it was a little touchy. It was a bit, uh, political. Um, it had, you know, a lot of, a lot of symbolism in it and it was a huge piece. It was, um, you know, almost like a, like a mural size. Uh, it was eight feet by five feet. Um, so it was quite, quite big. Um, and uh, unfortunately, um, the piece uh, right before the show, um, the piece got destroyed. Uh, I walked into the studio and it was torn into pieces. Um, to this day, I don't know who did it, but somebody didn't like like it, obviously. <laughs> um, and so I had to substitute it with a different piece for the show. Um, It really sucked. It really sucked because I really liked that piece. And it took a long time to do too. Hey, thank you, Garrett. Oh, 
but it's for a good cause. That's, that's awesome. But yeah, what art school taught me was that uh, politics and art, Elsa, unfortunately, you can't separate the two. So it's uh, my biggest lesson I ever learned at art school was that I do not want to participate in the art world. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a pure lack of respect thing for sure. Um, somebody either didn't understand the piece or didn't talk to me. You know, like it could be a number of things. Um, you know, it. I don't know. It just it was. I was I was at the age uh, that I was wanting to push buttons, and I was that's what I was doing. I was using my art to push push as much Elsa, buttons as possible. Um, and I on. unfortunately paid the price for it. <laughs> so oh, thank you guys. Appreciate that. Um, so the biggest lesson I walked away with from art school was that I just, you know what, I didn't, I, I, I grew a distaste for it, and so I never pursued it. Um, And then never in my wildest dreams did I ever think of ever streaming doing artwork. You know what I mean? Like this is, the, I walked into this totally by accident because of gaming and because I was, I was, I was uh, looking for alternative platforms other than Twitch and YouTube. And it was, it was, um, it was completely, I did this by accident in a way. Um, but it, it's been a very, Wonderful experience, and I'm so happy we did. Uh, and so kind of one of my little goals is to try to encourage others to, you know what? It's okay to draw. Like, you know, like... It's, um, the placebo effect and the, the dopamine you get from drawing or creating, whether it's gardening, cooking, you know, sculpting, painting, drawing, it is so healthy for you. It's so healthy. And I want to encourage everyone to keep doing it. Because um, I, I, every, all of us can remember a time when we used to do it, right? Like we all used to used to doodle or draw or, or, or something. Uh, do I prefer games or drawing? Well, they're very, very different. They're very, very different. Um, I mean, games is something that I do because it's, it's my hobby. It's, it's a hobby, right? Um, I will, I mean, I will admit it is a lot more work for me to draw than it is to play games, right? And the games are for enjoyment. I mean, I enjoy drawing too, but um, it's not, you know, and it, it, like I said, it's healthy and, and it, it's, it's good. It's great, you know, but at the same time, there's a lot more preparations I, you know, I need to kind of think about and do uh, for drawing versus playing a game, right? Where I'm just doing it for my, you know, as, as my hobby. No problem, Eric. So good to see you. Have a very good night. Okay, so what I did was I created a little bit of a kind of like little light glow on the edge of the, uh, on the face, and I kind of like that. It creates a lot more warmth, I think. And I kind of think that's kind of what I want to do with the rest of the body here, is to actually create a little bit more of a uh, orangey glow. Um... Yeah, it does. It does. I, I mean, it's. I think it's. I, th I think it's really good. So flow ass. Uh, uh, basically, or sorry. Um, when when I do prof uh, like uh, professional art, does does it rob your passion and creativity? 
I think the, the important thing or the best way to go about it is to try to get excited about the project you're, you're working on, right? Um, there's a lot of boring stuff you get hired for. Like if somebody's getting, you know, wanting you to make their next business card, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. But logo designs and stuff like that can be really exciting because you, you, you're taking in the... Um, possibly the personality of the person or, or, or the, the theme of the channel and kind of running away with a, a, an idea. Um, and the best thing you can ever give an artist um, is the freedom to just experiment and do what they get excited about. And that's usually what translates to really good stuff. When you, but there are clients that have an exact idea of what they want. And so it, it becomes it becomes difficult because halfway through the process, you, they realize they don't know what they want. <laughs> and so they end, up, they end up doing a lot more work than if they, um, you miss doing portraits. <laughs> I'm going to go deeper with the shadows here, I think. Maybe we show a little bit more separation there. Yeah. It's coming along though. Um, I'm thinking let's grab our, should we go with a pen maybe? Or it might be a little bit too, too much. Well, Elizabeth, you do some pretty complicated um, intricate drawings. I don't know if anybody has seen Elizabeth's work where she does uh, these very small designs, um, either incorporating a name or a picture. Um, my suggestion, Elizabeth, would be to maybe work bigger, um, work on larger paper and do 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 those designs, but at a, at a greater scale. And uh, it might not hurt your hand as much. Get a nice heavy, heavy line just to kind of give it that animated look. There's a bit of a separation happening. Uh, we are getting close to that giveaway though, guys. We're getting very close. If you're looking forward to it, we're gonna be getting there soon. So there was a suggestion about a violet. So maybe we'll try and put in a background here and then we'll put in some um, some lighter stuff. Let me see, what how much time I got? I got a little bit of time, okay. Let me grab my, where did, the hell did I put the, the chalk pastels? Uh, oh no, Conte. I was gonna use Conte. So I think I'm going to use a violet, but I'm also going to add a little bit of um, green lines, I think, is what I want. I want to have a little bit more um, of these green lines flowing around. And I think if I do it right, they won't get covered. It looks like the sword is wearing a small uh, base and cowboy hat. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Um, it's, it's the design of the sword. It really is the. But I, I see what you're saying here. It does. It's the hilt, right? I gotcha. <laughs> hey, who's doing that? Hey, Lindelli. Thank you. <laughs> we, we are kind of getting the He-Man vibes, right? Like the, by the power of 
Lord Grey Skull. <laughs> kind of, kind of deal. Um, I'm trying to. What I'm trying to do is create a little bit more dynamics with the, the flow of this, right? So it's like, yeah, we're trying to. Okay, cool. Now when I put in the violet in the background, let's, um, I'm about to get. Uh, no, there's, there's, I'm looking at pictures of Link. Um, I am looking at different pictures, and I am looking. I'm. I'm actually, to be honest, I'm. T I'm taking bits and pieces from different things that I'm seeing, and I'm putting it, combining it into one. It's kind of how I, how I'm doing it. Um, so I like the look of a face on one, and I like the look of that. Um, and I'm editing at the same time when I when I do it. But the inspiration for this was He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the that was the main inspiration. You know, you remember the old He-Man cartoon, right? Um, but it's, I mean, Link is obviously not as muscular as He-Man, but he could be. All hail the hey, new follower. Who did that on Elsa's channel? Hey, thank you for becoming a follower too. I do apologize. Um, it is a follower-only chat, but it, it doesn't go into effect until like ten minutes. Um, it's just a, it's just a bot protection thing. That's all. Um, hang in there for 10 minutes and, uh, you'll be able to chat with us. So appreciate the follow though. Thank you so much. Okay. So we're now we're doing, we're laying in some, this violet color. It's going to completely change the look of the drawing. Now let me grab a, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab, these are not blunts, these are rub sticks. <laughs> uh, oh, I need to clean this one first. So I don't, I've probably demonstrated this before, but okay. So when you have a, 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 a nub like one, a rub stick and it's really dirty, you don't want to touch your drawing with it, right? Because you're just going to make a mess. So uh, oftentimes you know, in art stores, you'll find uh, bits of sandpaper um, are sold with them. And the idea here, I'm just going to move this to the side for a second. And the idea here is to clean it by rubbing it on sandpaper. If you don't have the patience for that, to do that, Another way you can do it, and probably my preferred method, is just take a, 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 an X-Acto blade and just score the edges. And what you're doing is you're just you're just basically cutting off the bits that have any markings on it, right? So you can get a clean edge. And then, so you can see the little bits there on the table. Then after you've done that, then go in and sand the rest of it off with sandpaper. And then you'll get a clean nub and you only have to ever buy one. And you can just keep doing it until you run out. <laughs> All right, cool. Now I'm gonna go in here and I probably should have gotten the bigger one, not the small one, but oh well. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub this into the paper. My, you know what, Flo, you know what I use? I use, normally use my finger is how I blend things. Normally I use my finger to blend. I just, I can't help it. It's a compulsion, I normally do it. But with this, I'm gonna get really messy.
So I'm just going to use this to just kind of... So what I'm doing is I've put, I put some powder down on the paper, and now what I'm doing is I'm rubbing it into the paper um, so that it stays and sticks. Uh, all my drawings, basically, I, I will hit them with a fixative afterwards, which will seal it to the paper. Um, yeah, I, I, I've been told that I do wondrous things with my fingers, so. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see, I see. It's the feeling of it. Yeah, it's amazing what you can accomplish with your finger. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, well, it's, I don't know. It's kind of... Okay, so now I've got a big bunch of leftover chalk on top. Uh, what do I do at this stage? I'm going to grab my brush and I'm gonna, I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and I'm going to brush it away um, out from the outside, working away from the drawing, outwards, and I'm gonna put it in the bin. The powder, excess powder. I'm just gonna brush it off. There we go. Okay. All right, so far so good. We left a little bit of white um, in various different places. I'm gonna go back in with a uh, pen. Everybody's hosting Elsa's Whoa. channel. Little hosty host. Arch Messenger! Thank you for that hosty host! Appreciate you, man. Arch Messenger has been playing this game. Hey, Arch Messenger, maybe if you're, if you're in here, could you shed some light on what this, what this arm does? I, I use fixative. I, I always use fixative. And when, I, when I'm when i at a fixative, um, my poor man's fixative is I use hairspray. <laughs> I'll pour hairspray on it. And it does the exact same thing. The, the only downside of hairspray is that it makes it makes it the drawing a little bit darker. Um, so it's maybe not the best thing to use all the time. But... Oh yeah. <laughs> See, Flo knows. Who knows? It does stink, yes. It does it does smell like hairspray. But yeah, I know that Arc Messenger was playing this game, so I was hoping he would shed some light on the, the powers and abilities. crazy with the green that's uh i tend to get a little too too overzealous sometimes and it's like no you don't need to do the whole thing buddy okay let me um It's you similar to Sika Slate, but could you other properties as well? Yeah, so I was, I was, is it the whole, kind of the gate, the whole point of the game is to um, end up upgrading this? Like, is that, is that pretty much what you end up getting, getting components that upgrade it and that, that increases your powers and abilities? That's what I assumed, but.
All right. It seems like it's a gauntlet. It seems like these things, these rings, or something like that on the fingers. I think it, I think it's like a it's it's got to be something like that. Um, I don't think he lost his arm. I don't think he lost his arm. I don't think that's the way they're gonna go with the game. Fierce deity. Oh, and yeah, there was some sort of tech or something like that. Enhancement. I can't see him losing an arm. Zelda cyberpunk. <laughs> so how do I, what, what I want to do for the, the background here? Um, do I have one of those? What was that gray here? I have a tinge to it. I think use that. Yeah, he, um, I mean, every, every game seems like the, he reincarnates himself, right? I'll try putting some pen on the, on the top here. Just to create a little bit of darkness at the bottom. Let's see how that looks. I feel like it needs to be darker. Does that look, does that look a little bit better? Yeah, I'm trying to think. It was, yeah, I feel like it needs to be needs to be darker. Um, and that's on me. I've used maybe the wrong shade of violet. I was staying light, and then I mean, like we said, we 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 just test stuff out, right? The new one? The new Zelda games? James? Wow. I um Or or are you talking about Wind Waker? Or not Wind Waker, um Are you talking about the one for the Switch or you, like which Zelda? There's a lot of Zelda games. I'm trying to 
follow the flow of this. Yeah, I kind of I kind of dig the the little bit of darkness. Yeah, yeah they, these are these are water based. What I'm using right now, these are they're, they're cheap pens. They're from Tombow, Tombow. Um, so they have a they have a fine nib and a brush nib at the end. Well, I don't know if you know, I've already got a lot of purple on him. Like there's a lot of purple reflection happening already on him, believe it or not. There's a lot of purple in the hair. There's there's actually a lot of purple. My camera's not the best, guys, and so I, I'm, I'm, I apologize that it's not reading as as nice as I'd like you to see it. Um, I do put I do put uh, high res uh, pictures on my Patreon, um, and those those uh, those ones are available for download. Um, and uh, I do I do have it have it set there by the way guys at the end of today um the spider-man the free spider-man drawings those are gonna be um now gonna, gonna be put back behind a paywall right now they're free for everyone um it's uh, patreon.com slash elfsar you get to download them for free um all i ask is if you follow me on patreon as well that'd be amazing um you don't have to you don't have to have to give me money it's it's I do a lot of public posts on Patreon as well, and sometimes I share artwork as well. So um, it's, uh, I, I just, you know, free, but you know, I can't reach anybody unless they're following me on Patreon. So <laughs> um, that's all I ask, but, um, and that's patreon.com slash Elfsar. Uh, of course there's perks, of course, as if you do want to support the channel that way, you can uh, you can get you know bonus entries to win the artwork and there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of perks, um, including cheap art. So yeah, there's my little plug for the day. Um, all right, so done that, done that. Got a little bit of thinking. What's missing from this? There needs to be some sort of like glowy element or something like that. And I think the way I can achieve that is with maybe doing some, um, get some, some of the whites in there and we'll, uh, let's, let's experiment. This could go poorly. <laughs> uh, let me grab, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brush. Um, let me see. Where are my brushes? There are my brushes! Alright. Oh, thank you, Julia. Appreciate that. I always forget to plug it. I even think I have, like, a, ch uh, a command for it, too. And I just, like, forget to do it. <laughs> huh? You could use magic sparkles with a toothbrush, Flix. Yeah, we could do that, but I think I want to do more controlled sparkles um, or sparkles with purpose. I think that's what I really want to do is my chair keeps making noises. Sorry, it's not me farting. Um, OK. Oop. This is not a very thin brush. But all right, we'll do what we can. Um, I 
to show a little bit more. Whiskiness around this. Okay, I got way too many pens here. Oh my god, push them out of the way. And yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks like a mini tornado. It totally does. of Dale's hair. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this first before I do the sparkles. I'm... Kind of want this to glow a bit more. Oh, because the hair? <laughs> drink in his hand. sitting a bit. Okay. Now what am I doing? I am... Uh, a little bit more... Smirk a lot. Okay. 
I'm gonna have a little bit more light coming from that, from the power on his hair. Makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Also helps dictate the shape. Yeah, the Thor that um, is portrayed by like Marvel Comics is not 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 the uh, not the true Norse Thor. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> I, I did enjoy um, how he was portrayed in God of War. Oh, thanks, man. I just, I think what it is, is from the get-go, I've been trying to always try and improve or just try to challenge myself to do better um and you know like it's some you know it's just been trying to try new things and try to yeah, i don't want to go too crazy here because it's like i need uh, i need otherwise it loses the effect if i do if i go too much it needs to have just just enough Yeah, like it totally pops pops it, right? It pops out. Um now I just gotta make the, the energy shine. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the that's the trick. Um I could do a little bit here though. I'm, I'm feeling cheap. Let's do a little bit just this part of the hair catches it. This tune here that's playing is probably my favorite out of all the Zelda songs. It's, I think it's a Road to Dorado. I think is what it was called. starting to look though it's starting to look good i'm gonna do an underlight guys i'm gonna do an underlight underneath the chin which will help that glow feel i think uh my hand was not steady so it's just a little bit of light underneath the underneath the chin i think that will help I'm gonna go back into it. I'm gonna color it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> well, the way I always do it, Dale, is it's like first come, first serve, right? That's the way I, I've always, always done it. Because I have had um, a couple instances where there was like three people that wanted to buy the, the same drawing and it was kind of, I had to go with the person that was first. Um, well, the, the, um, I don't know. That's the thing. It's kind of like, it's hard to, would it be reflecting on it? I guess. 
I don't know. All the pictures I show that I'm looking at it, it doesn't show that. Um, I'm gonna look here. I mean, I can see what it looks like, but it's mainly the, the actual arm pieces glowing. So I need what it was. Okay, my original intent, guys, was to put sparkles on this thing. So give me, let me, let me do that first. And then, and then we'll make some uh, last minute adjustments. <laughs> um, Sorry, a, a, maybe a slight cast shadow under the tricep could bring up the shine factor too. Yeah, the thing is, is that the this arm is supposed to be glowing, right? So to put a shadow on it, uh, unless you're maybe talking here, possibly. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like we 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 dictate what how it looks, right? So really, it's what whatever we say. <laughs> so I agree. I agree. It's not, yeah, it's both, I think it's supposed to be glowing. I mean, again, I'm I'm in unfamiliar territory as well. Um, but I'm just trying to figure out what, um, I like that, I like that, that look as well. It's a little bit more painterly quality. Um, Cause for me, I would like to put a shadow completely underneath this arm. That's what I feel it needs. So I think maybe, I mean, if, that, if that's how we feel, maybe we should just do it. Hey, gamer, thank you. Hey, gamer. Um, I mean, maybe we should just trust our instincts, right? Kind of glowing there like that. Um, I want to put some... This is some sort of... for the thank you so much for that i'm gonna put half of that in the chest if that's all right Appreciate that, Blue. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm just gonna listen to my gut and do a little bit of a shadow. Under the tricep here. So, hey, Pablo, oh my gosh, I have to do that. Thank you. Um, I will top that up in the chest for you guys as well. Thank you so much. There we go. You want this piece? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't say which one was going to be up, up for uh, up for grabs. Um. I mean, Elsa, I hope you like ice cream because you got one. 
Hey. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Okay. Um, let me see what we can get here. I think. Okay. And then the other thing I wanted to do before I forget is I want to put a little bit of color here. That way it's not as bright, but it does, it does, uh, just pop out. Now, does that look weird? That look to me looks weird, right? So it's almost like we have to commit fully. Ah, uh, no, I, I get nothing. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm at the bottom of the, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm past the point that people scroll, put it that way. <laughs> Plus, everybody's doing digital work. No one's doing, like, traditional work. I mean, there are some painters and stuff like that, too. Um, I've seen I've seen some. Uh, although, when I go to the streams, a lot of times I see it's, it's a recording. It's, it's them sitting in front of a recording instead of doing it. Nope. But. Uh, okay, so. Oh, yeah. Jeez, Elf. You're just like, I get so distracted. Uh, where's my, where's that brush? Where's that brush? I had the brush in my hands. Where did I put it? Oh my God. Oh no. Uh, what the hell? Did I not have the... I dropped the brush somewhere and now I can't find it. I'm terrible. I oh, I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> That's why. Okay. So my whole thing was, um, is that I wanted some sparkles, right? Bear with me. disappear right. so what we're doing was just add we're not gonna go too much but we're gonna we're gonna add a little bit of strategically placed sparkles feel more Zelda-like. I do like this samurai look, though. I, I do like that. I know it's hard to see. Adding just a little bit of, of sparkly sparkles. And I might do a couple. tiny bit of reflection like we talked about just tying this in together as well I 
just to blend it a little bit better. And then we'll be done. Woo! And that would be a pretty wild animated look at uh, Zelda, like, or sorry, the Link grabbing his sword. fan of Zelda or not would be happy so <laughs> Skeletor <laughs> yeah we get a castle gray skull big crap a big castle in the background right <laughs> He Man Zelda mashup. Hey, you know what? I don't think anybody's done that. I don't think anybody's done a mashup between He Man and Link. That'd be that'd be worth doing. I think that'd be that'd be that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Woo! That was pretty sweet. Sweet. Well, we did two two pretty good drawings, I'd say. Um, different flavor. Obviously, this one's more of a portrait, and this one's kind of more of an action action pose, but I think they both came out quite nice. Yeah. Aw, oh, thanks, guys. Don't forget to clip. Don't forget to clip. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Yeah, another art stream in the in the books. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, I do have a dinner waiting for me, but we got to do one thing first, and that's right. We're going to give one of these drawings away. Um, it seems like my popular demand, uh, you know, from the from the essence I'm getting, is that somebody would like to possibly purchase this one, so we might be giving this one away to a lucky or free viewer. <laughs> we'll do that. Um, we'll keep well, the other one will be available on the Discord. Also, will be available for download through my Patreon, guys. Remember, I do have a Patreon. If you want a cheap way to get in into some free art, that's one way you can do it as well. Um, and I do do public posts as well there, so it's worth a follow. That's, that's all I'm saying. Sometimes I give stuff for free. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, later this week, I am doing a, I've got a, um, for all patrons, no matter what level, you're going to get a free picture of the Joker. Um, I've got a massive Joker uh, drawing that's uh, that's launching. And it's, 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 if you like gore and you like blood, uh, you might like that drawing. <laughs> Much love. All right, guys, let's bring up the wheel um, and we will get that uh, under underway here. Boom. All right, we got the wheel here. Oh, I need to. Oh, yeah, I got to add names, don't I? Yes, I do. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, let's just put the word as link, L-I-N-K, in, uh, in the chat. Put that in the chat and I'll add you to the wheel. It's not subscriber only. Uh, Flo, the way I do it, and I've done it since day one, has been if you're if you spent your time in here to to spend time watching and you and you and like if you're if I, you're here during the giveaway, you get a free entry. Subscribers, of course, get an additional get an additional entry or an entry if they're not even here. Right. That's the advantage of subscribing is that you don't even have to be here during the stream to get entered to win. And then, of course, I have extra bonuses and perks through my Patreon, um, the, the bigger the support, of course, they get a little bit more chances to win. So it's that's the way I've done I've done it since day one. I mean, Patreon's rather new for me. Um, oh, I appreciate that, that diamond, dude. Thank you. I, I'll throw half of that in the chest for everybody. Uh, we'll open up the chest right after as well, guys. OK, um, all right. So let me uh, let me put on some, I guess, can I put on some music that is more upbeat? Um, let's do that so that I can pick a winner. Give me a second here. Uh, how many how many Zelda games are there that have been come out? Um, how many Zelda games? Uh, 
Uh, there are 29 Zelda games. Okay, we're going to shuffle the deck 29 times then. All right, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29! Boom! That's how we do it. All right. Good luck to everyone. There can only be one winner, though. Let's freaking go. It's first spin and first elimination of the day. Who gets the first kill? <laughs> the first one in the battle royale. Oh, my gosh. Lady Gamer right away. Oh, my gosh. That was an unlucky drop from in Fortnite. <laughs> That's what it was. All right. Um... Not to worry, though, if you're a sub on the channel and stuff like that, you are in the mix. Following Lady Gamer, Lady Gamer is right behind her, is Elizabeth. Good luck to everybody. A one-of-a-kind hand-drawn piece of art for yourself, Christina! I almost said anal again. Oh my god. Terrible. Is it claim to fame? <laughs> we got... Good Morning Dixie? Is that what it is? GM Dixie? From D-Live, thank you. Uh, it looks like it's going to be contact from Patreon. Much love, contact. So we're whittling, whittling it down. All right, we got. Oh, it's only a bit corrupt. I'll go. I'll go rather quickly, guys, for you guys, so that it, it's, it's not taking too much of your time. Oh, that's super kind of you, dude. Elizabeth from Kick. And it looks like it's gonna be MD Wit from Patreon. Um, and guys, also, too, if you ever have your heart set on something, if you've got a character that you love or treasure or something like that, I'm always open to commissions, and I will do anything within your budget. You know that. Uh, Elizabeth from Twitch, much love. Um, you know, if you've got... You know, and so it's it's kind of like, I mean, generally, I try to, try to, try to make it special for everyone, so... Calm Tech from Kick! Where's my... I can't see it. You're so bold. <laughs> Spirit chance. We got MJ Monster J from DLive. Yeah, true. I also I also can do payment plans too, guys. It's not that expensive. <laughs> it's Jul Julianne from DLive. Um, I mean, Elizabeth's done that before too, where she's like, "Oh, can I can I you know save up for something like that?" And I said, "Sure, no worries." Like it's, it's um, Spider Man three nine nine six. Uh, my starting wage basically is uh, roughly about sixty US um, for a full full piece. So I'd say affordable. A, a, a Pablo Escada from G-Life. and know that it's always going to be an original, one of a kind piece of art. It's not. It's not like anything that's been duplicated. Um, however, I do reserve the right to, to let everyone else be able to download it for Patreon and all that kind of stuff. Warp Radio from DLive. Oh, we got, looks like it's going to be Renzo Scriber from DLive as well. Let's love Renzo. One more chance. Comtech for Patreon. My Comtech's getting hit hard today. I recently discovered Warp Radio. Great guy. Incredibly smart. He's able to identify tunes like like I like incredible, incredible mind for 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 music. Blood Hooligan from Kick. Kick's getting like it's ass kicked right now. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's gonna be Mystic Angel. Yeah, yeah, I've 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 uh, I've sat sat in with one of his streams, and um, he even like 
he 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 even went ahead and started drawing something in for me just to just to and it was just it was such a such a great thing to see him like he hasn't drawn in years and he felt inspired happy face from d life um he felt inspired to to just pick up the pen and start drawing and uh and he was pretty pleased with himself with, with uh with the result so i'm hoping he keeps continuing that joe gallo from d life Looks like Nomi from DLive. No me, no him, no her. Oh, is it the, it's Lemon Squeezy Peasy. Yeah, it's Mel Peasy. <laughs> oh, it's Nine Eye from Patreon. Nene, Nine Eye? No, it's not yours. <laughs> oh, looks like we got Stephanie Thompson. Stephanie Thompson got hit from Patreon. First one for Stephanie. Stephanie just recently upped her uh, upped her subscription on Patreon, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much, uh, Mystic Angel from D Live. I'm going to go kick for the lower delay and D-Live for the chat. Takes like 40 minutes for D-Live to catch up. I know. <laughs> Lady Gamer from D-Live. Oh, no. That might be it for Karen. I know. Yeah, Flo, Flo, you're going to get advanced warning of who's getting eliminated. Like Pablo. Pablo just got eliminated. Oh, no. D-Live D -Live will know in about 10 seconds. We got Elizabeth from Trovo. Thank you so much for even love on Trovo. Thank you so much. <laughs> See, I told you, 10 seconds later. Oh, it looks like Stephanie's getting hit. Is that from Twitch? That's from Twitch. Again, this this is, I, I'm, this is, I wanna shout out everybody here. Everybody, everybody on this wheel right now, Thank you so much. You're the reasons why I do this. So, nuance, nuance thank you from DLive. <laughs> yes, there's a strange thing that goes on where it's like just this common occurrence of like names popping up. Doogie, as we say in Scottish, Doogie. Much love, man. It bites you every time. Daddy, you're back. Oh. Danny, welcome back. We got Lindsay John Paranormal from DLive as well. Uh, Danny, I believe you're on here. You're on the wheel. You're still here. You have not been eliminated. We got MD Wit from Patreon. All right, we are, we're, 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 I think halfway, halfway through it, guys. We got MD Wit again, a double whammy, double header from DLive. I'll, um, Denny, I'll show you the other drawing as well um, once we get through this. We're going to open up a chest as well, guys. Julia Ann! Oh, no! Julia! Oh, no! Stephanie from Patreon. Oh, no! Honey Girls having, having issues? That sucks. Oh, well, wish her well. Bah! Stephanie! Oh my gosh. It's like you, <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting hit hard today. Oh no, Nine Eye from Patreon. I think that's it for Nine Eye. Nine Eye. Nine Eye. Nine! Nine! She's gone. <laughs> oh, is it back prop? It's back prop from D-Live. Wish her well, 100%. We got Jackson Dre from DLive. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like it's gonna be Ace Hardcore. Oh no, Ace Hardcore or MD? It's Ace Hardcore. Ooh, just on the edge. Just on the edge. Oh, it's GamerCam! GamerCam. We're gonna be, I believe, playing this Thursday, finally, after a month's time, Dying Light again. So that'll, that'll, that'll be great to return back to the game. We've already forgotten all the controls. So you'll see us die a lot. <laughs> oh no, Danny! Danny! I'm so sorry, Danny. Danny, it was not meant to be. I'm so sorry. Be alive. I appreciate you though. Oh, is it gonna be Comtech or Elizabeth? It is Elizabeth! Oh, and I can't even pronounce that, but someone gifted that person a sub, <laughs> probably during the, the hot wing stream, <laughs> so that we could take some more hot sauce. All right, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I think it was MD that probably did it too, because she was like, she was phenomenal that stream. She was she, like, oh, Tom Tick as well. Thank you so much, man. All right, guys, we're getting down there. We're getting down. We got 22 names left on the wheel. 22. It's not going to be Mythic Russ. The Patreon. Although, I think he's got one more. He's got one more chance to win. Oh, it's, it's going to be Elizabeth from DLive. All right, 20 names. 20 names to get through. We're getting there. Oh, Stephanie, no. Oh my gosh, that's your D-Live one too. Holy crap, okay. I think you've got like one left on Patreon. Let me, we'll see. You got to hit hard today. And it is Mystic Angel Christina. Kick! All right. We're in the legal voting age for US. Uh, 18, Slider, 1611. What's up, Slider? I hope he's doing well. I haven't seen him in a long time. I hope he's okay. Um, I tried, I sent him a private DM, but I haven't heard back. So I don't know, I hope he's all right. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, I'm not saying Jack, nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's... It has begun. Begum, 839, um, D live. <laughs> okay. All right, we're into Sweet 16, guys. It is Sweet 16 territory. May all your hits be criticals and your adventures be legendary, guys. Oh, it is not gonna be Care Bear XP from Kick. He's fine? Okay, good, good. Good, good. I just, it's been a while, so. I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Oh, look, Eric Walker. Eric Walker. Woo! That's live, Eric. Okay. 14 names. 14 names. 14 to go. Well, you guys have all made it this far. Amazing. But Mythic Russ tripped on his own feet, didn't tie his shoelaces, and is out of here. <laughs> okay. Baker's Dozen. Who's gonna be the Baker's Dozen? Let's go. He made it be pizza slice size. You never know, dude. Hey, the guy who won the carnage drawing, maybe Q Chris, almost won another one. Not really. We're now into the big, not the Baker's dozen, the real dozen, the dirty dozen, as we like to say. It is the dirty dozen name is going to be, oh, is it Mystic? It's Mystic Angel Christina. Thank you so much. You're not out yet, I don't think. Nope, you're still there from Patreon and from Twitch. All right. Here we go, guys. Eric the Streamwalker. <laughs> Na magic number 11 is... Oh my gosh, okay. Mystic, yeah, from Twitch is gone, but your Patreon's still here, so you're still in it. But it is getting close, guys. This is gonna be quite the fight. Um, the final 10 are... Elizabeth fled from Patreon. 
Jade44 from DLive, MD Wit from Kick, Mystic Angel Christina from Patreon, Honey Girl from DLive, Periwinkle from DLive, Code Work Havoc from Patreon, Flo, Stephanie Thompson from Patreon, and uh, right, Jeski77 from DLive. Woo! Wow! Okay, cool. This is exciting. Let's find out. We're on the final time. You've made it this far. You are a champion. You are a legend in my book. You've done incredibly well, um, but it can only go to one person. Uh, unfortunately, Mystic Angel, it did not, was not in the cards. It was not, it was not fate. It was not decided. All right, we're getting to the final nine. The final nine counted down. We're working our way down through these lovely people and it is not gonna be Ryleski77 from DLive. All right, we're gonna keep it going. Keep that wheel spinning. Oh, looks like it is, is it a honey girl or is it? No, it's MD Wit from Kick. Oh my gosh, okay, guys, seven, lucky number seven. Who is lucky number seven? Can there only be one? Or the, who's the seventh dwarf? Do we should we count them down? <laughs> oh my gosh, it is, oh, Stephanie got hit. Stephanie, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for the love. It was not meant to be this, this week. We never know next time, okay. Oof, six, it's a six way. Is that a thing? Six-sided cell? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go! Let's spin the wheel! Oh, Jade44! You came so close! I don't think Jade44 has won a drawing yet on the stream yet, but you came really close this week. Much love. Appreciate you big time. Okay! Our final five! Our final five, if you can count them on your fingers. Our final five are Elizabeth Flood from Patreon, Honey Girl from DLive, Periwinkle from DLive, Codework Havoc from Patreon, and Flo. Hey, Flo, man. This, is this your first time on the wheel? Are you feeling lucky? Ace Hardcore, I know you got eliminated. I'm so sorry, man. Uh, okay, we're spinning it. We're spinning it. It's not going to be Periwinkle. Oh my gosh. Never say never. We have a four-way tornado match between these four lovely people. Elizabeth Flood, Honey Girl, Cobrick Havoc, and Flo. And you know those butterflies you're feeling right now? If you're on the wheel here, you're just kind of like... Mm. Anything can happen. Let's find out. Let's spin the wheel. Oh, oh, it just eked into the Elizabeth flood. My gosh, thank you so much. We have a three way and, and, and all three ways are sexy. Always. We got Honey Girl and we got Code Word Havoc and we got Flo. Um, Flo, how does it feel to be here with two, two lovely ladies? <laughs> I just need to milk it a bit more, right? No, no, here we go. All right, guys. Let's make it, let's make it, let's make it a two-way, hey? Flo, this is proof, Flo, that it all it takes is one chance to win. However, the more chances you have to win, the more chances you have that one chance. So let, let's, let's spin it. Let's rip that Band-Aid off. This is, oh my God. It is not going to be Honey Girl. It's not going to be Honey Girl. Holy crap. All right, it's between two people here. It's between Cobra Havoc from Patreon and Flo. So then the, again, you don't want your name pulled. You want to be last on the wheel. Hey, you know, this is how it works, man. This is how it works. Let's go. Who is going to be walking away with it? Oh my freaking God. You got to be kidding me. Hey. Congratulations to Covert Havoc, you came second place, but the big congratulations goes to Flo! That's right! Damn! Flo, you know, you know the wheel of names, you know it's impossible to control the wheel, it's impossible to fake it, this is 100% nat natural, you just won, my friend, you won the drawing. It's your ring for short username. <laughs> Dude, much love, congrats, and you know what? It... 
it, I, I believe in fate. I believe in destiny. And I believe the fact that you, I think, have a special connection with Zelda. I've, I've seen you're playing some old retro games and stuff like that. I honestly think, honestly, like, I, I hope you will give this a happy home. Please, please, please get in contact me with either email or through my Discord or through Twitter or any means you know how. Send me a private DM and tell me an address I can send this to. It doesn't, don't, don't ever tell me if it's a home address or whatever. I don't care. All you need to do is give me an address to send it to. I will mail it to you flat. Um, it'll come in a hard shaped envelope. I am setting a, a batch out um, it, in, in the next, in the next, like this, in the next day or so. So if you can get back to me as soon as possible, that'd be great. Um, the the way the the way it works is you need to get in touch with me within 36 hours from the moment it was called. So um, congratulations, man. And it's funny because Pablo said if he won this, he was going to gift it to you too. So that's that's amazing. That is so awesome. Um, and to everybody, to everybody, thank you guys so much. Really, I really appreciate you. Um, yes. So, guys, if you're brand new to the channel and something like that, or just drop it in, I'll show you the other picture as well. Um, this one here uh, is also going to be available in the Discord uh, as soon as I get up. It's going to be the same price as all my other drawings, um, if that gives you a hint. Um, uh, may blessings be showered down upon you and everyone else. Hey, you know what? It's, it's, I believe, it's good karma, man. It's great karma. Thank you so much. So yeah, you can either email me or contact me via uh, Discord. I think you've got you've got access to my Discord. It's all listed in my About section, for sure. Um, and, but that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. We have a chest to open before you go anywhere. Before you go anywhere. Oh, the level up. Ah, <laughs> oh, appreciate you. We're gonna open up a chesty chest as well. Let me get that up and ready. Daddy G with the level up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Flo just go to their diamond. So we're going to throw half of that in the chest as well. Um, and that's that's from Flo, guys. Thank you. Okay. So let me, um, let me just call for the chest. <laughs> you guys are still doing the level up command. Thank you guys so much. All right. Give everybody a chance to refresh your browsers. I'm going to, it's basically 30 second countdown from now. Um, give everybody a chance. Wow. The la I, I'm on DLive right now and the diamond just popped. What the bloody heck? That's a huge delay. Damn. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait till I see the chest thing open, and then we're going to do it. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for joining me during the stream. All right, here we go. We're going to open it. Uh, you should be seeing it now. You should be seeing it now. If you don't see it now, there's an issue. There's a problem. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Um... I have no idea what I'm going to draw next week, but I hope you'll be able to join me again on a Wednesday. We do a winner drawing Wednesday every Wednesday. Perfect. Awesome. Woo! Congratulations! Hey, the big winner today is Pablo Escanaba. Much love, Pablo. You got 75.6 lemons. We got Elizabeth right after with 43.8. And Julia Ann with 31.9. Lady Gamer with 25.6. And Jade, 44 with 21.5. Um, there should be a little bit more for everyone else as well. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you. Um, I'm gonna grab uh, somebody to... to um, <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Big time. We're going to go host a channel uh, on the D-Live. Um, and that's it for me. Thank you guys for joining me. May all your hits be criticals. 
your adventure piece legendary. And just before I go here, um, I do want to say, please, if you wouldn't mind, um, if you guys want to see more videos and pics of my, my new backup 2.0 that's on his way here, um, go to uh, my channel, youtube.com slash at Elf Ansar, and you're going to see a lot more IRL stuff. Um, more future IRL stuff is going to be there. So like things like the Hot Wing stream and stuff like that, it's probably going to be on that channel and not the gaming and art channel. I'm trying to separate the two um, just because to, I'm supposed to niche down and it's just going to be better for growth. Um, all right. Thank you guys so much. We're going to go host the channel now. Much love. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, until then, may all your hearts be criticals and your adventures be legendary. I probably already said it, but let's do it anyways. All right. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it.